couple of years ago, I was out uh, sledding, snowmobiling, and uh, got st I was by myself, got stuck, and I was there for pretty much the whole day, and uh, uh, stuck and couldn't get out, and got it, you know, worked it, and gradually kind of got out of the ditch I was in. It was my own fault. <laughs> uh, eventually, a buddy of mine came along, and uh, we got it the rest of the way out. But after that, I put this rig together, which is just a boat winch, um, modified it a bit with, uh, to put a, a, a hook, pla a place for a rope to hook on here, and then a piece of rope. So basically, you know, tie this around a tree, can winch myself out. I used it a couple of times since then. Um, I was never really stuck like that again when I was by myself, but I did use this a couple times when I didn't really have to, just to make sure it worked, and it did. Uh, it, work, it works fine, actually. Um, this is, I think, a 800-pound winch. Um, so, you know, it works pretty good. Sleds aren't that heavy. Usually pretty easy to get moving once you get a, a bit of weight on them. But this is heavy and bulky and awkward to take with me. So um, I want to do something a little different for next year. So I'm going to put this aside and show you what I'm going to try to build instead. So I'm making this up as I go along, so I don't know if it's going to work, but hopefully. I got the idea when I was uh, uh, using the winches, uh, sorry, winches, my uh, ratchet straps to uh, pull the logs together when I was building the log arbor uh, in my last video. You can really, you can generate a lot of force with them. I mean, I use them all the time to tie things down, but uh, I, I use them kind of a different way in that one. And I had some stuff kicking around, and I, want, I thought I should be able to make a little hand winch out of that. That would be useful. So I have a, a nice heavy-duty ratchet strap, um, not one of the small ones I was using uh, to do the, to do the uh, arbor. This is a, a heavy-duty one, 10,000-pound breaking strength. Uh, I think it's 3,500 pounds working uh, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, th this was one, I, I got a two or three of them, and I don't usually use heavy ones like this. Um, so this one's actually never been used. Um, came together in a package, so there's that. Uh, I bought a bunch of uh, climbing gear off a guy on, just on Kijiji a few years ago. Um, I was building some uh, uh, block and tackles, and I, I used uh, climbing gear because I got a good deal and a whole whack of it. So I've got a couple of these, uh, which are rated for 24 kilonewtons, um, which if you go and look is uh, about 5,600 pounds, a little more than that, which is crazy for these little carabiners. Uh, they're made of aluminum, they're lightweight. Um, they, when they're locked up like that, you lift a car with them basically. Uh, they screw lock closed so you can't knock them open. Uh, really quality gear. Um, so I've got a couple of those. I've got this strap, which doesn't look like much, uh, but again, it's for climbing gear. Uh, this one's rated for 22 kilonewtons, so about 5,000 pounds. Uh, so I was thinking I was gonna use that um, maybe on, on the tree end. I don't know if it'd be long enough. Maybe. Anyway, uh, that's rated for 5,000 pounds. Uh, so I had all that stuff kicking around the garage and I ordered a piece of synthetic winch cable um I, I i got quarter inch you can get of course uh thinner stuff and if i was using a smaller ratchet i think i would have gotten the uh, next size down which is rated for about five thousand pounds i got this one only because it was only an eighth of an inch bigger or, or sorry a sixteenth of an inch bigger and it's rated for 7700 pounds um, and i should build a wrap in there um I'm not sure yet, depending on what it looks like when I get it on here, if I'm going to like attach the end in here and use it uh, like a traditional winch where it's attached to the end and you pull out what you need. I don't know how much I can get on there. This is 50 feet. Um, the reason I'm using this instead of the strap that came with it, which is probably, I don't know, 20 feet-ish, give or take, um, is for the extra distance and weight. This, this is, I don't know, a couple pounds, a pound, whatever. This is pretty much nothing. It's just 
that synthetic winch cable, I don't know what that would weigh, a couple ounces. Um, so like I say, I, I'm not sure I'm gonna attach the end in here uh, kind of semi-permanently, or if I'll use it more like a winch strap where you put it through, pull through where you want, you know, maybe halfway through, and then when you crank it, you're, you're basically using double of the space on here because you're wrapping it twice on, uh, just like a, a winch strap. Um, that'd probably give me a little more flexibility that's, I, that's the way I think it's going to end up going, only because I don't think I can put 50 feet of this on here. I think it'll just, it'll fill this space up. Um, but if I do it the way I'm talking about, worst case scenario, you pull the sled out a bit, loosen this off, readjust, do it again. Again, just like a normal winch strap. Um, so when this is all together, this obviously would be the heaviest piece. And it's just, oh, and I'm going to take this off because... I'm going to use strap. And if, that's, if I don't think that strap is long enough, um, I always have a piece of rope in the, uh, in the sled as well. So that, that'll be fine. Um, but I mean, this is going to be around here, this on here. So, you know, around a tree and then back to here. I mean, that's a, that's a good sized tree. Just won't give me any scope. So it should be all right. All right, so let's get to it. Let's see what we can build. <clears throat> uh, one other thing I'm gonna mention before I get building. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, you can see if this wraps around here, um, it'd be fine for the first few wraps. But once it gets up a bit, these teeth, which of course move like this, I'm worried they might hook onto uh, the synthetic cable. Um, this is really strong in terms of pulling power. Um, you know, 70, I think it's rated for 7,700 pounds, 7,600 pounds, whatever it is for a quarter inch. But it doesn't have much abrasion, abrasion ability. Um, you rub this on something, it'll quickly cut and you're, you're done. So I'm thinking these teeth rubbing back and forth once it gets up that far might be a problem. So I might cut a couple of pieces of uh, plastic, probably, like maybe the tops of a lid, I'll cut some circles out of them, put one on each side, maybe glue them to the sides here, to the fixed part. Um, so it, it, they'll come up, you know, fill, fill this whole area up so that I can get more of this cable on without having to worry about the, uh, the teeth. I think that's the only mod I'm gonna do to this. Uh, for just testing functionality of this, of course, I'll try it without it first. And if it works, uh, it's just a pin on each side. So I can take that out, put those pieces of plastic in there, and we can go from there. So let's see what we can do. So here, all I'm doing is uh, removing the nut and bolt that holds this strap on. So there's nothing exciting going on here. So what I think is going to end up happening is these will, this will come in just like a ratchet strap in there, out there pull it to whatever uh, tightness you need, and then just ratchet like that is what I'm thinking. When I say uh, per pull, it, uh, you end up using two in here for until the, you're used up your, uh, your space, but that's all right. Unless I can put the whole thing on there and then just forget about it, but I really don't know if that's gonna work. Let's try it. So right in here on the edge, of course, both sides, uh, it's not hitting the teeth that I was talking to, but right here on this fixed place, you can see the cable rubs on that every time it goes by. So I don't think it would take very long for that to uh, cause abrasion. So caught its cheese containers, tops. So this is nice, flexible, just your typical like yogurt container, or whatever, butter container, margarine, I should say. That should be good enough. I'm just not sure if it'd be tough enough might want something a little bit more rigid than this. I'm going to try this, but I'm worried that it might end up kind of folding in there, but we'll try it. So please, if you haven't, can you uh, hit that subscribe button? Uh, it really helps me out. I'm brand new on YouTube and every subscribe makes a big difference. You can see this little pin here. It's just a pin that's bent on both ends. So I just straightened out one of the ends over here. See if that'll hopefully that's enough to 
Oh yeah, there we go. Pin out. pin doesn't break make another one of a nail or something if it does all right done hey there so it's the next day let's see I just used some uh, silicone as you saw actually gasket maker silicone only because that tube was open. I didn't have to open anything. Yeah, it seems all right. It'll pull off if I yank on it, of course. All right, so let's go outside and pull something and see what happens. All right, just pulling some slack out of it. I'm just gonna put some tension on there. Ooh, it's gonna go in sideways. As that thing slips to the side. The other side. Ooh, I have to do something about that. Hmm. All right, so I didn't think of this. My little strap here uh, is pulling off the one side, which of course makes the rope go all cockeyed on one side. Hmm. I may have to put that uh, original strap back on. That's too bad, that's gonna, <coughs> excuse me, add a bunch of weight to it for no reason. But I don't see any other way to do that easily. So let's do that. So this just involves uh, removing that bolt and nut and uh, replacing the other strap. Easy breezy, lemon peasy. Okay, so it is binding off to one side still. I don't know why. awkward to get the rope off the side but it does move right, so I'm not putting very much force on this so far as you can see I can pull this with two fingers here at this point Loading the truck up pretty well. Oh yeah. I think you could easily put 3,000 or so pounds on that without really trying very hard. I'm starting to lean into it a bit now. And I'm dragging my truck sideways. Now it's just the coma, so it's not the heaviest thing in the world. But yeah. That seems to work excellent. I 
can see how much tension is on that. It's holding me up. It's all my weight. Which is 20 pounds more than it was before COVID. <laughs> all right, let's take her off. I'd say that's a roaring success. My plastic did not last. Not surprising. All right, so that worked pretty well. Like I say, the, uh, the plastic did not hold up at all. One tore off on its own. This one wasn't doing much. And as you can see from the cable, I didn't notice this happening. It did fray a bit there uh, where it was rubbing in there. So I definitely need this. Don't skip that step. Um, I'm gonna have to come up with something stronger that I can put in there. I don't know what that's going to be. But other than that, which is a pretty minor issue, I just had to come up with some kind of slippery uh, cover for in there. This worked better than I thought it was going to, to be honest with you. It worked fantastic. So at this point, I just wanted to see how it would package up to, uh, to go on the sled or the bike or whatever. Um, I know it's not done, but getting ahead of myself. That's how it'll kind of package up. It's not the prettiest, but it's light, small, easy to pack compared to the uh, the boat winch. And I say with some confidence that it's uh, minimally uh, twice as strong, probably more like three times as strong uh, in terms of pulling power as the other one. Um, you get 50 foot reach with this. I don't know how much cable is on that. It was probably about the same actually. But the uh, weight reduction is significant and the bulkiness is much reduced. Uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with that. I just have to come up with a better way to, uh, to protect my, my winch cable. Back again. So, it's the next day. I went digging around in the house, see what I had, and I had this piece of Tupperware that uh, I don't think I've ever used. I don't bring pie with me to, for lunch. I got enough pies. Uh, but it's pretty, it's Tupperware, right? So it's a lot tougher than uh, this, uh, what was it, a cottage cheese container was. So I'm going to try the same thing, uh, but with a tougher material and see how that works out. Um, all right, I'm going to cut it up and we'll be right back. All right, so I did that. I didn't turn the camera on because it was exactly the same process as the last time I did it. Um, but you can see them on here. Um, I didn't try to attach them to the sides this time. I think they'll work better if they free flow. The reason I wanted to do that is so they'd stay out of the way and you wouldn't have to kind of fiddle with them when you're trying to string this through. Um, but I made the holes a little bit too small, so they kind of squish on there, so maybe they'll stay in place. We'll see. But I think having them uh, able to turn with the rope when it gets jammed in there will uh, work out better. All right, let's go give it a try. I'm gonna do, um, I don't know what's in my way out there, but I'll find something and we'll uh, give it a pull and see how it works. All right, so we've got it strung out to the tree. You can see the car is in the way, so I'm doing it to the, front of my truck this time around. Same thing. Heavier, probably won't be able to drag it. Alright, let's see what we can do. Seems to be working well. Yeah, there I'm pulling the car backwards, so that's good. It's working. That worked really well. I'm really happy with this. It's uh, a lot more powerful than that little boat winch was. Um, more compact, lighter, easier to pack, doesn't have a handle sticking out of the side. Win, win, win all the way around. 
And if I decide to, for some reason, I can still put the strap back on it and use it as a normal ratchet strap. I haven't wrecked it in any way, shape, or form. The only thing I've changed is I've added these plastic pieces here just to buffer the rope, which did work quite well this time around. I'm going to call that one done. Um, success.